I'm sorry if I sound a little nasally for some reason my nose is completely blocked but I'm not sick it's just like it doesn't work when I blow my nose that's the only way I can explain it important today i'm coming to you with the washington dc apartment tour a little bit of context i moved to washington about three years ago i did my master's at american university school of international service which was about two years and then i just worked in dc for a year now, my boyfriend and i are moving in together in new york city so it's a really bittersweet goodbye to washington for you know the time being but my boyfriend and I are going to be finally moving in together in New York City. No more long distance and, you know, it's a bittersweet goodbye because a lot of my friends are here and I just like Washington DC. I think, I think there's something special about, you know, the amount of people that come here to do like specific jobs focused in political science and, you know, security and things like that. I think it's a really interesting place to be. I'm really excited to move. And because I'm moving, I have decided to film an apartment tour. Also, I've started to sell things on Facebook Marketplace and today a couple things are getting picked up and I was like, oh my God, I need to film this video because if I film it later, there's not gonna be any furniture in here. So this is why I'm up at 7 a.m. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel and next time I'll see you is probably gonna be in New York City. So ta-ta for now. All right, so we're at the entryway. It's a very old door, as you can tell. This is the peephole, but to be honest, I can't see anything through it. If you know, you know, this is very important if you live alone for extra safety. A door bolt lock. I don't know what this is called. Door stop, that's what it's called. Very important if you live alone. Then right to the left, you have a closet door that basically is just, you know, a typical size closet. Not much in here right now besides like my one jacket, my purses, and a bunch of moving boxes. So nothing too interesting. As you can see, I have like packed stuff and put it up here. So nothing too interesting around here. Um, this carpet is from Wayfair, I want to say, but it's just like a little runner carpet that I got. Um, I'm also going to insert a video of how this looked like before this was here because basically this bench was in that closet and I had like a glass thin entryway over here so that got sold already on Facebook Marketplace so I just put this here. This is me. <laughs> I don't remember where I got this mirror. I want to say, oh my god, I'm wearing a sticker. I did not take it off from Hollister. Sorry if you saw that in the intro. It's too early for me. We've got the Bethesda frame because I used to live in Bethesda and I found this in a little boutique store so I decided to get it. We've got my keys, the laundry card, airpods, cash, all the necessities, and a little candle. Of course this doubles as a shoe rack so that's just great. I really like this mirror. It's a nice mirror. And then a little Target vase with some really annoying dried flowers so yeah if i film from this angle you can see how it looks like also please ignore the mess on that table so if i film from this angle you can see how it looks like now to the left of the entryway is where it leads to the bathroom and to the bedroom i'm just going to show you this super low-key setup for my work from home and um this area of my apartment has changed so many times because it's this weird opening. As you can see, it's like kind of this little nook. And, ow. <laughs> and I had no idea what to put in here because it's obviously a very small space and you can't put anything bulky. So this is kind of what I have in here. This desk, it's literally for like $50 from Amazon. It has a little drawer with random stuff in it actually need to take that out <laughs> then the table itself as I mentioned was like $50 from Amazon we have some nice 
cream, really important to hydrate. A really big monitor, which I think is just too big, and honestly my eyes kind of hurt from it, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it at this point. Um, a chair, it's, you know, it works. And kind of this miscellaneous thing where I keep my camera equipment, some work documents, and pens. So yeah, that's from Target. Um, very simple setup. I mean, all I kind of need to just work and have a normal background for any video calls. So, then you walk into the living room and bam, it's a really big couch. So, the couch is pretty much the centerpiece of the apartment. Um, as you can see, I don't have many, not many, I barely have any, you know, artwork on the walls and things like that. Just because by the time I wanted to get artwork, it was like I was six months into the lease and I just didn't feel like it was worth it. So. As you can see, I don't have any artwork on this side. Believe me, the goal was to have some artwork, but because this is an old building and there is this AC slash heat regulator here, it just wouldn't look even if I did it here, if I put like two paintings here. So this is how it looks like. It's a really old building from the 70s, so they have a bunch of these in the apartment. Wait until you see the one Wait until you see the one in my bedroom. So yeah, the couch is the centerpiece. It's a dupe for the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch, I believe it's called. But this is the Bob's Discount Furniture Dream Couch, I believe. As you can see, it's a really nice size. It is so comfy. We have had so many people sleep on it and really liked it. It's incredibly comfy. Um, it doesn't have any storage underneath, which I wish it did, but it's fine. It's what makes it comfy is that there's no like bulky things underneath. So yeah, I love my couch. It's coming with me to New York. I might have to take the middle section out because New York apartments are very small, as you may know. Next we have this coffee table. Honestly, the furniture that I have in this apartment is not expensive. Um, I believe this was just like from Amazon for $100 and you know, it has worked, but I am getting rid of it because I just don't like it to be honest with you. So this is my coffee table, nice little fake Ikea plant. So yeah, that's about as much as I decorated this table. The big elephant in the room, this carpet. Let me tell you a story about this carpet. My best friend Austin actually gave me this carpet her mom got it for her and they like both didn't like how it looked like in their living room and when i was moving she was like do you need a carpet and also look how big this carpet is and i was basically like uh yeah i'll take a free carpet and she gave me this amazing carpet which honestly is so beautiful i mean like the design on this is just amazing and I think it goes really well with this neutral couch um, so yeah I love this carpet so much then on the other side of the apartment we have the TV and the console very fun things as you can see I went for like a more darker toned vibe in this apartment that is not what I want to do in the next apartment because I just want more light into the apartment and I feel like this just makes it really dark. But we've got the TV, I don't know how many inches this is to be honest, probably like 50. The console, very simple, there's a lamp with wires, it's very professional in here. Um, we've got this New York poster that I actually really really love, it just basically shows you all like the famous spots in New York and you can like look at them on this list. And I don't remember where I got this. I think I got this somewhere in like New Jersey, but this is probably my favorite poster and I'm taking it with me because I'm basic. Here's me and my boyfriend. It's a little inappropriate, showing some skin, but you know what? I'm proud of it, you know? I'm proud of my body. So we're gonna show skin if we want to because that's what makes us confident. Might as well do it. 
Yeah, so this is the radiator and the AC. As you can see, it's very old and there's some quirks about it because this apartment has kind of caused me some trouble with the condensation. So they had to basically cut a piece of my ceiling out because there was a leak within the ceiling. Thankfully, like nothing got ruined of my stuff, but like this apartment was interesting to live in because of how old it is. And there's this water alarm. I'm terrified of touching it because I'm scared it will go off, but supposedly this prevents the radiator from leaking or something. I don't really know, to be honest. Panning to the right, we have the dining table that I do not use because I think it is not cute. Anyway, I tried to decorate it as much as I could, so I have these three little like decor pieces from Target. So it says C'est la vie. Olive, olive, I mean, you know, I think it looks great, but you know, probably need to improve my design in the new apartment. And we've got this little thing here. Again, Ikea fake plant. I think they look good and I don't need to take care of them. So, you know, it works for me. We work well together. Then I've got these chairs from Target. Also, this table is from Walmart and this is how it came. But honestly, I don't care because they refunded me. I just need to get rid of it before I move to New York. So I'm getting rid of pretty much everything you see here besides my couch, my bed, and my dresser. That's it. Welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, we have a door in the kitchen. It's very strange. I kind of got really scared when I saw this in, in the first place because I was worried that I would, that someone, because I was worried someone was gonna break in. It is like painted shut, if that makes sense. So it's impossible to open. When I first moved here, um, the landlord said that this is apparently a butler door because when this building was built, this is where, or maybe it wasn't built in the 70s. I feel like it was built in the 70s, but anyway. When this building was built, like you can see like the really old like door lock. When this building was built, <laughs> people had like private chefs or butlers. So instead of entering in the main door in the entryway, they would enter through the kitchen because this is like where they would work. So I thought that was interesting. It's a pretty small apartment. I can't imagine that happening, but it's kind of cool. Little piece of history, I guess. So right to the right of my butler door, I have a coffee maker. I have my kettle, milk frother, very basic. This actually belongs to the espresso machine. This is from Ikea. I don't remember where these are from, probably Target. Um, I have this beautiful picture. I don't know if you can see, let me take it out. I'm trying to cover that vent of Dresden in Germany. So we have the microwave. And as you can see, this apartment has a lot of storage space in the kitchen. So I hung this little thing here. I'm not going to show you the sink because there are some things in it. So I don't want to do that. We've got a dishwasher. That's clean. Then if this is the butler door and you pan to the left, this is really cool. This is essentially a pantry area so like this opens really far <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i have kept it open to make sure the butler door does not open at night it's like my doorstop and then i just have like miscellaneous things in here like pasta tea nuts sugar like sweets pancake mix oats you know it's like a bunch of different shelves so I think this area is like really cool. One of my favorites. All right, next to the pantry, we have my other coffee station. So I don't like to use this Keurig. I honestly really despise Keurig coffee because I just don't think it tastes like much. I don't know if I'm like a coffee snob or what, but I just 
think the coffee tastes like cigarettes it's something about it i tried so many different types of pods and it just i don't like how it tastes so i still bought it knowing i didn't like it and used it maybe three times and just it sits here this is something that's going to be sold on the top i have my espresso pods for my nespresso which is just like an Ascenza mini it's like the mini of the mini it was very affordable and i've had this for like two plus years and i like it it was a good buy i do want to essentially get like a professional like italian espresso machine but this is it for now all right next we've got the stove very fun um i also used a piece of paper to cover like whatever was behind here because the landlord said it dropped behind there and they didn't feel like getting it so i was like cool um you can see there's more storage space above here this is my most used closet <laughs> this is my most used shelf my glasses my mugs etc made some cookies last night so they're here got the oven water <laughs> very important this is just here now very realistic tour if you ask me toaster utensils more utensils here then panning to the left we have a very sad looking paper towel roll we've got a beautiful painting painted by my little sister actually she's super super talented so she painted frog like the silhouette of Prague inspired by Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. It's really hard for me to say that word. Um, and then I just have a bunch of random stuff lying around, like my vitamins. So, yeah, I've been cleaning. So that's just how it is right now. So, yeah. This is my kitchen. We've got lots of storage space. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So... I don't drink that, that's from New Year's, and I have yet to throw it out. Alright, it's a different day, but now I'm going to take you to my bedroom. So, as you come in, um, you have my bed, which is a queen-sized bed with like some Amazon linen sheets and a comforter. Um, these sheets are like a dupe for Brooklinen. They're really, really soft and they're really just like comfy. And then I got this really thick all season comforter to make sure it's like, it's not thick. It's just like very puffy, poofy, if that makes sense. Um, and then I decorated it with this throw from Ikea and then this thing from Target that I've had that I didn't really know what to do with it. I was thinking of putting it up there, but I'm moving out in a week, so didn't get to do that. I just wanna address this makeshift dresser here. I sold my six drawer white dresser that you've seen in my previous videos. So I had to make do with this arrangement. It's just not great. And I am just gonna leave this here. These are the boxes that I have to put stuff in. So like from whenever I would order things from Amazon or any other store, I would just store them. And um, they're on this corner behind this door. So just being real. I'm a nice stand. I have a lamp. I have this book that I just finished. Um, very important creams for me. Um, aloe because I burned myself just a little bit last night. Very important. Aluminum free deodorant. Love that. Tissues. Just love it. Love it all. And then to the left of the bed, we have this Ikea mirror. This is the Nissa doll mirror. It's like not great. I don't like this mirror. I want to get the really, really big one because when this is on the floor, it makes it look kind of diagonal. So I just don't love it. This is the mirror. And to the right of the mirror is the bedroom closet. So I'll just open it up. I mean, please brace yourself. So in this closet, I had like a bit more stuff than this, but I still kept a bunch of summer things that I intend to wear in the couple next weeks. Um, so I have like my tops, kind of like these summery tops, as you can tell, and random like sweatpants here, and then a chair from the kitchen. Um, and then I have jeans in this Ikea, or sorry, this is from Target, like cube shelf thing. So 
nothing too interesting I like that this building comes with like built-in hooks and you know just like shelving it's kind of very cool there's supposedly a light up there but there's no switch so I don't know how it turns on all right turning back to the right so this dresser is a Ikea dresser you'll notice a lot of the stuff is from Ikea um, it is the Malm six drawer dresser and it just basically has like some of my clothes like hoodies um, workout stuff and things like that I do like this dresser but it was a pain to put together it took my boyfriend and I like two separate days for us to actually work on this so very happy it's finally together but you know now we have to figure out a way to bring it to New York on this dresser I have a few like prints so I got this from Target on sale I also got this on sale I believe this is one of like the Greek islands um, that's what it looks like at least and I love it I've never been there but really want to go there I guess there's like a Greek Greece theme with olives um, so love that for me I have these little decorations from Ikea so I literally bought a pack of rocks and put it into one of these clear bowls I have a candle this is all from Ikea um, beautiful little vases candle my tripod yeah it kind of sticks out but it's fine I don't mind so above my bed I just need to show you something funny I like have a love-hate relationship with this because it's basically what controls the temperature in your apartment so heating cooling and then it shows the current temperature I hate it because it's right above my bed so I can't necessarily like hang something over my bed because this thing sticks out but it's kind of cool to have a little piece of history from you know how old this building is and you can see like the brand Johnson and it literally looks very old and it sticks out but you know as much as I hate that it sticks out so much it's very cool to just have a little piece of history in your apartment not to mention this carpet is from Wayfair just a simple carpet I don't love it that much but it is what it is at this point you know moving out so I don't you don't necessarily have too much of an opinion. So yeah, this is my bedroom. So right as you walk in, there's like a white carpet, which I have to wash because as you can see, it's getting a little like dusty. Um, so it's a white carpet. I have this like cube contraption from Target because there wasn't really any place for sink storage. So I had to be creative and it's not really that convenient because when I like wash my face my feet step on it but it's fine so yeah I have my sink and I have my like little makeup storage situation it looks a little questionable now because I'm moving so I didn't really like unpack but I have these little drawers it's really fun I don't really want to show you a lot here because it's messy and here I keep like necklaces and my gua sha this every night but you know it's hard and then I have this mirror that opens up and this is where I keep like my skincare my hair care with brush stuff like that really fun stuff then to the right is my toilet which is very fun um, on top I always try to keep like extra toilet paper rolls um, some of my like makeup remover and toner and then i have my jewelry here here i have storage for random things that i don't really want to open because it's really messy but some like hair stuff some floss some hair bands q-tips like very important things i've got the shower which is very bare so it's kind of funny honestly and i didn't put these things nicely but what it is very simple very simple shower anyway that's my apartment this is it in all its glory that's it for my apartment tour in washington dc a one bed one bath apartment in northwest dc so hope you enjoyed it make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're excited for more content especially if you want to see a new york city apartment tour subscribe